Okay, just some real quick changes that NASA has made to LNN's trajectory on the JPL site. We're going to show you here, this line is very smooth and curved, and when we go back and show you what it used to look like, it was very jagged, uh, and the, the comet didn't even exactly follow on, along the line, it was curved, but uh, they, I guess, weren't as sure of its trajectory and are now a bit more sure after having observed it for a little while. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to sort of focus on the first couple of days in September because something has changed. Uh, now here, looking at the old diagram, uh, perihelion, the date that Elenum was going to be closest to the sun, was the same date that it was going to break our solar plane, September 11th. Uh, in the new trajectory diagram, the closest date, uh, the, excuse me, the date is closest to the sun is still September 11th. However, it does not break our solar plane, according to this diagram, until right around the end of September 13th, uh, going into September 14th, perhaps. Uh, other than that, all the alignments forward and backward are exactly alike. Uh, whether or not they have any effect is uh, up to you and is about as widespread difference of opinion on that as there can be. But uh, such is the case. So make of it what you will. Perhaps this is just a function of them having more information. Perhaps not. Uh, but just advising you of the changes and uh, maybe look into it.